If you are a real estate investor or you want to be a real estate investor and you need and want money to fund your deals, regardless of your credit, regardless of your income, regardless of your experience in real estate investing, don't go anywhere because we're getting ready to plug you into the money. Well, welcome to the Jay Connor Show. I'm Jay Connor, the Private Money Authority, coming to you here from Moorhead City, North Carolina. My co-host is uh, Chaffee Wynn, my dear friend, uh, coach, fellow real estate investor, uh, business coach, and the list goes on and on. Hey, Chaffee, how's it going? Good, Jay. How are you? It looks like you had to read my name from a sheet of paper or something. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was, no. I was just letting the consciousness flow of all these different personas that Chaffee Wynn has. There you go. But, <laughs> but actually, Chaffee, um, we've said it to folks before on the show, but you and I met as of today, we met nine and a half years ago at a real estate investing conference and seminar. That was, that's correct. Absolutely. Now, so, um, Chaffee, we're going to, we're going to give everybody out, uh, give everybody the URL website here in just a second on how they can get funding for their deals, regardless of credit, income or experience. And we'll give that in just a second. But before we do, let's tell them about the upcoming live event we've got going on. You're at all my live events and uh, what's happening in this live event. And then we'll give them the URL as to how they can uh, find out about it. So Chaffee, give the folks an overview and I'll fill in the cracks. Absolutely. Hey, I'm, I'm excited about this uh, uh, upcoming, it's a three day boot camp. And what I love, especially about your live events, Jay, is that it's not just some, uh, uh, you know, live event that you go across the country and multiple different cities and multiple different states and just teach people how to do stuff. We're in Atlantic Beach, North Carolina, because that's where your properties are. That's where your team is. That's where you do your business. And so when people come to the boot camp, they get a live view of how you do business. They get to learn how you systemize and automate your business. They get to learn how you uh, work with your team. And some of your team members are there. And we're looking at your actual properties on a bus tour on the first day. And uh, so people get to see how you found the deal, how you purchased the deal, what you're planning to do with the deal. And then you also get to see some properties where the deal's done and you fixed everything up. And, you know, we get to go through and see what you've done. Um, and so, again, it's not just some properties that we found on the MLS somewhere and, and just showing you stuff. It's, it's actually your, your deal. And so if people want to learn how to do real estate the right way and copy what you do and systemize and automate their business the way you do it, then they need to be at this boot camp. Absolutely. You know, another thing that's different about this real estate investing, uh, it's actually the name of it is the uh, Jay Connors Real Estate Cash Flow Conference. All right. Um, I have private lenders at the event. And if you, in case you don't know what a private lender is, these are, I teach and show people how to get the funding, not relying on banks. That's why it's got nothing to do with your credit, your income, et cetera. And so private lenders will be at the event for you to meet and network with and uh, visit with them, et cetera. Um, you know, the bus tour that you mentioned, uh, I mean, these are our houses, as you said, on the second day, um, we'll be teaching the four pillars of my business and success. So how do we find them before other real estate investors even know they exist, how we fund them, how we flip them, uh, how we sell on rent to own if we want to sell any house in three days or less. And then the third day is all about automation. All right. So it's about the wealth. It's about the freedom. It's just not coming to learn how to do another job. J O B. No, this is about creating what you want your life to look like. And real estate investing is the vehicle that will get you there very, very quickly. So don't make the mistake that Chaffee and I did, as we talked about on the previous show, um, don't go about this business on your own, particularly when you're starting out. Okay. Uh, if you are a seasoned investor, you want to get to this event. It's free. My land, you can't beat the price. It's free. Um, there's a measly $97 registration uh, fee, but this is a event valued at $2,997, which is industry average, $1,000 a day, but you get to come for free. Also, what we have at the event, Chaffee, and one of the big reasons you're there is we have free one-on-one -on -one strategy sessions. 
take a second and tell everybody what happens during the strategy sessions, please. So this is available to all the students, all the attendees that show up. And this is where the attendee and their business partner, whether it's a spouse or a, a national legitimate business partner, gets to sit down with either myself or one of the coaches that we have there and tell us what's going on in your business and their business and in their life. And we'll find that sometimes it can be something really simple that we can help them with, or sometimes we need to put together a plan or a strategy to help them overcome some of those challenges. And that's our purpose is really just to sit down and focus on them and their business and their life and how we can move them forward. And I tell you, Chappie, I've seen it time and time again, and you have as well up close and personal because you are doing one-on-one -on -one strategy sessions yourself. And I mean, talk about the aha moments that people have. I mean, just at the last event, I think about Scott. I think about Travis. I think about Greg. I think about the other students that really had transformational experience. And that's what we want the, that's what the live event is. It's experiencing it hands-on as, as we talked about, instead of going, you know, and trying to read a book. So Chappie, let's give out the website. Everybody go check it out get registered. It's July 30, 31, August 1st. That's a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. The website is www.jayconner.com -E forward slash all in lowercase money podcast, money podcast. So what do we want to talk about today, Chavi? What do we want to talk about? Well, Jay, today I'm excited. Um, I actually want to uh, hear you talk a little bit um, about certain things. And, and let me preface this by saying that we can talk until we're blue in the face about all the facts and details about how to do certain things and what really sticks with people sometimes, what really gets the, the juices flowing and them engaged and they remember how to do certain things is a good story. So what I want to hear from you today is just a, an update, a case study, a good story about one of your deals, how you found it, uh, if you had any challenges, how you purchased it, how you fixed it up, how you sold it, and uh, obviously the results. So. Uh, update us on uh, one of your current deals or one of the past deals that you've just completed or, or just in and uh, walk us through the process of, of you know, sure. beginning sure. to end. So right now we have five houses right now that are currently uh, under rehab and renovation. Um, so let me talk about the house that's right down from where my mother lives. This house is in a beautiful, well, the address is 205 Westchester. All right. So this house is in a beautiful development. In fact, Chaffee, at the last live event, I had just uh, got it under contract. Uh, not under, I had just closed on it. Okay. And we walked in the house and the only thing that had happened so far is the carpet was ripped out of it. All right. So, uh, we really didn't go gung ho on this house until about six weeks ago, really, because I had, I had other projects that we had going on. Beautiful house. It's got 2,200 square feet. The house itself sits right on the golf course. Um, so here's the numbers. Here's the numbers. I bought the house for $145,000. The after repaired value, or as we call it in the industry, the ARV, the ARV, after repaired value. And when I say after repaired value, I mean this house when it's finished is going to be drop dead gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, all new countertops, I mean, all new cabinets, countertops, granite, um, et cetera. So the house will have an ARV of $300,000. So bought for 145, which is higher than I thought than it was on the comps when I bought it. It was more like closer to 270, 275. But since some recent sales in the subdivision, it's going to be closer to 300,000. So I like that, an extra $25,000 bonus on this deal, right? Absolutely. So the spread, the spread or the profit is right at $100,000, less realtor fees, less closing costs, and less the cost of my private money that I borrowed to find the house. So, how to find the house, my probate system. Okay. So we did a show not long ago, Chaffee, on how my probate system works. So if somebody's interested in that system, go back a few shows and 
you know, watch the probate system. Well, that's how I found it. Probate. Um, the, uh, the situation, the lady was about 95 years old, the, uh, the previous owner. Um, and she passed away, uh, back in January of this year, as of this show, this is June. All right. So she passed away about six months ago, a couple of months went by and, um, the, the heirs were her two daughters and one daughter lives in Oregon and the other daughter lives right here in Moorhead city, North Carolina. And so it's her husband that reached out to me. They'd received one of my letters. Here's one thing that's interesting about this story. Her husband's a realtor. So why didn't one of the heirs husband put it in the multiple listing service? Well, I got the answer to that question when I went and walked through the house. The house was, was okay. I mean, but nothing had been done since 1981 when it was built. And so they knew for it to really sell, you know, for, for what they could, they, they had put money in it and they didn't want to put money in it. So they were looking for someone like me. Well, thank goodness. One of my probate letters had been sent out on automatic. I get my probate list every 90 days. So they responded to that letter. What do I need to clarify so far in this story, Chaffee? I'm going to catch my breath. Did they uh, reach out to anybody else other than you? Oh, <laughs> wow. Did they reach out? They reached out. Of course, since her husband's a realtor, he knows whoever is a possible real estate investor in the area. And I'm in a small area, only 40,000 people is my target area. So there's not too many of us. Like I'm the only like full time real estate investor I know, but not only did they reach out to other people, Chavi, but they got other offers. I know they got at least three other offers. Okay. And I know that one was well, first, I started at 125. Okay. I negotiated up to 145. I know they got other offers, but let me tell you why they accepted my offer. They accepted my offer because there was no loan contingencies. There were no appraisal contingencies. There were no inspection in contingencies. It's my contractor and me walking through the house and we make our offer based on that. So, you know, when you're, when you, when you follow the math and what we call the maximum allowable offer formula, which I'll be teaching at the live event as well, then you're covered. All right. Murphy and Murphy's cousins and grandparents can show up and you're covered as in Murphy's law is what I'm talking about folks. <laughs> so the reason they accepted my offer is that now listen, folks, you can use private money and you can still make your offer with no loan contingencies, which means I don't have to go get approved for a loan. I got my private money lined up to fund the deal. And the other reason they offer, uh, so there was, it was a clean offer, a clean offer, all right? No contingencies. The other reason, Chaffee, they accepted my offer was because I could close in seven days, seven days. And they were motivated, you know, for the money, wanted the money. And so, you know, that's what we did. So that's how I found it, Chaffee. Awesome. And so you picked it up with private money, right? Yeah. You closed in seven days. Yep. Through your title company, through your attorney, right? Yep. My real estate attorney. Yeah. And then what? Oh, so, <laughs> so after I close on the house, then the question is, what are we going to do to the house? This is 2,200 square feet. So one, and I love the creative process, but thank goodness I don't have to do it on my own. I got a, I've got a brilliant contractor, more than one, you know, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Right. So I got a brilliant contractor, Tom, you've met him on the bus tour, uh, Chavi. I got a brilliant interior designer. Beth is her name. In fact, folks at the live event, you'll meet all these people. All right. So you can duplicate what I'm doing. And so I met with Tom, I met with Beth, I met with my realtor <laughs> that was going to be listing it for me after we got it rehab. And here was the big challenge. The house was a four bedroom. It's now a three bedroom. And here was the challenge. Thank goodness. The principal bedroom is on the first floor. All right. 
Houses don't sell nearly as fast when you got all the bedrooms upstairs, right? So principal bedrooms on, on the first floor. Coming down the hall, which is a short hall to the principal bedroom, you pass by what you would call the fourth bedroom. It's small. It was so small, it would just make a really, really nice walk-in closet. Right? <laughs> but I didn't turn it into a walk-in closet. All right, we, 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 did, we did something different. The bathroom was not actually in the principal bedroom. House building 81. It's like, it's like, it's like down the hall, like one step. It's like right outside the door of the principal bedroom. So I don't know what we were going to do. I mean, the bedroom itself was not big enough for a, well, it would hold a king size bed, two dressers, and that's it. I mean, you, <laughs> there's no room. So what we did is we took the walls down, took the wall out of the fourth bedroom, incorporated that into the principal bedroom. Okay. We took half of the fourth bedroom that we took the walls down on and converted that into a very nice uh, walk-in closet for the lady. It's already got two big closets in another part of the room. That'll be for the man. All right. And now the bathroom is so small. I mean, you could barely go in there and turn around. I mean, you had toilet, <laughs> sink, tub. I mean, right there. And not two sinks, one sink, right? So here's what we did. We went out into the bedroom, all right? I wish I could show pictures of this. We went out into the bedroom and put really nice granite countertop. We put the sinks in the bedroom, which when I first heard that idea, I'm going, hmm, I don't know if I like that. I love it. It's beautiful. <laughs> It dresses up the bedroom. Okay. And now we've taken the sink and countertop and all that out of the bathroom. And now it, you feel like, and we moved the door to the principal bedroom down the hall to where now you actually have a principal bedroom suite, if you will. Um, so that was the challenge in this house. Um, so by the time you get here for the live event, Chaffee, Mm -hmm. This house is going to be all finished, drop dead gorgeous. Uh, you're going to love the before and after. Very As nice. I said, I funded it with private money. All right. That's the reason we got the deal. And uh, I've told the numbers. What else should I tell about this house, Jeffy? So you're going to have it on the market, the market uh, coming, up, coming soon. up soon. Oh yeah. It should be on the market now, realistically within two weeks, within two weeks. I'm going to put it on the market for 295,000. And so after all is said and done, what's your expected profit? 100,000 less my carrying costs. Well, my carrying costs on private money is not going to be much because I just closed on it recently. So I'm paying 8% private money, mm -hmm. uh, interest only um, accruing. And so, uh, let's, oh, I didn't tell uh, the, the rehab. So the rehab was 50, 50 grand. Okay. okay. So 145, plus 50 rehab. I'm going to have 195 in it. Call it 200, whatever. Selling it for 295. So um, I borrowed, how much did I borrow on this house? It was, yeah, I borrowed right at 200. That's, that's going to be all. And I got, I got all my rehab money up front, you know, mm -hmm. uh, when I closed on it and I'll teach that at the live event as well as to how that works. And so 208% uh, Let's see here. What's 8% times? I can't even figure Chavy. <laughs> My brain's too tired. <laughs> so it's going to be um, 16,000. So I'll have about 8,000. I have about 8,000 in interest. Realtor fee is going to be probably 12,000. So maybe 20 off of that. So 20 off of the hundred. So I'll net out about $80,000 on this deal in less than six months. It's not too bad. <laughs> yeah. Well, and my average profit, you know, is $67,000. Right. This one will help bring up the average a little bit. <laughs> so again, with private money, no points or anything, right? Just uh, the interest rate that you're paying. That's right. No points. I don't pay principal and interest. It's just interest only and et cetera. Wow, Chaffee. I didn't know that story was going to take that long, <laughs> but 
but uh, we are out of time for this show. In fact, I'm, um, I'm presenting a, um, a live online class with uh, one of my students in just a moment uh, to help my student raise private money for their business. So I got to go run, jump off and, and go do that. But you get the parting comments before we say goodbye. Well, the parting comment is if you want to learn how to make $80,000 on a deal like you just talked about, Jay, go to the Your Live Bootcamp, right? <laughs> That's right. And you can't beat free. You That's right. <laughs> $97 registration fee. Chavi, thank you so much for joining me and co-hosting the show with me. How, how do they get to the bootcamp again, Jay? Sure. So here's the website. Y'all go check it out right now before the room block runs out at the hotel. www.jayconner.com forward slash all in lowercase money podcast. That's the website. Awesome. All right. Thank you again, Chavi. Thanks everyone for tuning in and be sure to subscribe, rate and review if you're on iTunes so you don't miss out on uh, the future shows. Uh, we're releasing at least two shows uh, a week and also releasing uh, Facebook. If you are watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe, give us a thumbs up and, uh, and comment below. Tell us where you are. And by the way, you can ask any questions you want to on YouTube or Facebook in the comment section below. We'll get your questions answered. And then also if you're on Facebook, um, tell us who you are, where you're from, send me lots of love, send the, the, the red heart across the screen. And, uh, also you can ask uh, any questions and, uh, and you know, be sure to subscribe there as well. Folks look forward to seeing you at the upcoming event. Thanks for tuning in. And here is to taking your business to the next level. See you on the next show. Bye for now.